Hello, thank you so much for coming back for this week's recipe. So as you can see, this is going to be an easy one. You just need four ingredients. So we're going to be making some hot chocolate cookies. So, you know, this is pretty much it besides butter and water. So let's go in and get started. Just so you know, I do upload a daily video all about budget food. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. You can also bookmark the page. That way you don't miss out on the daily uploads. Okay, so what you're going to need for this is some Betty Crocker chocolate chip cookie mix. This one, um, you just need butter, a half stick of butter, and a tablespoon of water. If you have another chocolate chip cookie mix or another cookie mix, just make sure you follow the directions. And then also we're going to be using two packs of the Swiss Miss Marshmallow Hot Cocoa. I'm super excited to get these going. Okay, so my oven is already preheating at 350. Once again, I'm just following the directions on the back of the package, but anyway. I thought this, yeah, this is gonna be like an awesome recipe for the, you know, to make for those quick, easy holiday get-togethers. You know, if your kids are going to school, like physically, you know, this would be great, you know, to make for lunches or whatever, but okay. And then we're going to be doing two packs of hot cocoa mix. We're going to be doing our one tablespoon of water, and if you need to do a little bit more water, you can definitely do that. And then we're doing our half of a half of a stick of softened butter. It's not melted; it's just been sitting at room temp for a couple hours. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this all combined. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more water. Ah, every time. Okay, so now we're starting to get kind of like a dough. Just gonna make sure that butter's kind of spread out throughout. So, if you're using, you know, little things of cookie dough mix, so you're gonna do two packs of hot chocolate to one package of the cookie dough. Okay, so this is gonna make about a dozen cookies. All we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and just drop it onto our cookie sheet about an inch apart. You can make them slightly bigger, slightly smaller, whatever you want to do.
Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and pop these in the oven for about 8 minutes and let them do its thing. Okay, so the cookies just came out, so i got to let them kind of like solidify. They're supposed to sit for 2 or 3 minutes, so after that we'll go ahead and take them off the cookie sheet and try one. Okay, so here are my cookies. They, when I make these again, because I'm definitely making them again, I don't like that cookie mix just because there was too much butter in it. I followed the directions and it just made them spread too much, but you can see the little um, marshmallows. So let's go ahead and try it. Mm-hmm. Those are bomb. They're rich, they're chocolatey. They taste like hot cocoa. These are amazing, so yeah. Wouldn't recommend that cookie mix that I used, but super easy, and it just, I don't know, it just screams holiday to me. So anyway, um, I hope you did enjoy this week's simple and fast recipe. If you did, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it to let me know down below in the comments what is your favorite type of cookie to make during the holiday season I would love to know down below and don't forget you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media Twitter Facebook Instagram it's all at budget clan babe don't go anywhere quite yet another video should start auto playing here very shortly or you can always click on one of the ones I'll be popping up around the screen but yeah I'll see you here in just a sec